time to export our results to Maya. But before we export the results to Maya, we're also going to use the texture export node in order to export the textures from the object within PFTracks 3D space. With the orient scene, I'm going to change the edit mode to box and I can use the box in order to set up the orientation of the scene properly. So I'm going to take this point right over here and follow the shape of the object that we've set up in the image modeling node. And now we have the scene set up. And the next step would be to export this into Maya. So setting up the export is really easy and we've seen it before in other tutorials here in vfxtutor.com. After the orient scene, right click and I got the export. There's my export. And in here, I can call this file dumpster underscore export. As you can see, I change it here in the file name. My format is set to Maya 2011. Now click on the browse button in order to set up the proper path for the export. All I have to make sure that I have my camera and the geometry highlighted, and then I can click on export scene. If we click on the auto generate, it will auto generate the UV maps for this object and we can also click on show projection. Now don't be mistaken, it's not that our object has disappeared, it actually now carries the textures from the footage. And if I switch to the 3D space, here they are. As you can see, the camera now projects the footage on our object. And what is this good for? This is good if we want to give the digital matte painters some pre-made textures to work with and create some alpha channels around this specific object. So now we can go back to the export and under the textures, we have the textures that were generated by the texture extraction node. So we can click on export scene again. And now it's also exporting the textures alongside the Maya file. So we saw how to export the scene into Maya and we also saw how to export the textures that were on the object within PFTrack 3D space. So let's jump into Maya in the next video.